Hi everybody, it's Lady Gardenia, Dashboard Confessional, and yes, as you can see that car going behind me, I am in my car, so this literally is a Dashboard Confessional. Uh, just a quick update, not much stitching this week, a lot going on at work, um, working through some other stuff, so just not really in the mental space to do it, which is probably the right time when you should be doing it, right? Is when you're anxious. I I feel deeply about things. I can be very, very happy, and then I can be very, very sad. So, um, I'm a feeling person. I think the counselor I go to says I'm a feeler. So, um, there's an upside to that, and then there's a not-so-happy side to that. But, um, this weekend's looking fun. Got some plans for tonight to do some Christmas decorating, hopefully creating some new traditions, Christmas music, um, or a movie. Going down to the Denton, Texas um, downtown square, the courthouse has a tree lighting, which I've never gone to. And um, so that should be fun. And then I think along the square, there may be other activities going on. So um, noted that we would be going on Facebook and saw some of the people that we know may be down there also. So may catch up with some friends, uh, may sit by a chiminea tonight if it doesn't rain. It is getting a little cloudy. It's very overcast, muggy. It was in the 70s and um, very humid. So we have a heat index down here in Texas and I think it was up in the 66 percentile um, humidity. So whatever the temperature is, it just ratchets it up. So um, to give you, if you're not from this area or not from the US. Um, let's see, so that's tonight. Um, hopefully getting the Christmas spirit. Tomorrow is December 1st. What are your Christmas tra traditions? I was thinking about it, maybe doing a post on what mine are and I, I maybe did it last year I'm not sure so I, I I'm kind of redundant I'll just go over again but um, new memories come up and um, who knows what I could share but um, I was listening to Pandora and I like more the traditional type of um, Christmas music not the newer artist and um, the song from Charlie Brown Christmas um, show and I think it's Christmas time is here and it just warms my heart and just listening to Christmas music today helped lift my spirits and um, hope everyone is getting into whatever holiday they um, are celebrating I know people are all different religions or not religious or different countries so I hope you're enjoying um, the last day of November and heading into December, which is going to go like fast like crazy, you know, it's going to be um, crowded by all the malls. Um, you almost have to divert your routes so you're you can get any place. And um, so I'm sure that's about to hit mad dash to all the shops. Um, online shopping maybe helps with that, but um, that's coming up. Also have um, maybe plans to go to the McKinney Square tomorrow and then to a party, a surprise birthday party. So pretty active. Um, I do want to find some time to do some stitching. I'm trying to locate one of the, I can't remember, I think it's Blackbird Designs. I could be totally off. Um, that had the Beatles series and it's the... Something, the title, I'm not a, a aficionado, aficionado of the Beatles songs, but something about an octopus. Well, I started that, and I can't find the pattern. So, I've got to do a little hunting, but I'm kind of in the mood to do that. And then on Instagram, I saw a cute little ornament. And I, I'd have to, I, I don't know if it's Needleworks um designs I'll have to check but it was like a, a snowman and it had a really cute little ornament and they had one I, I think either 1 to 10 1 to 12 that you could purchase found it on eBay so I'll probably order that and just to get into the spirit and what are you doing to get into the mood um, 
any ideas for new Christmas traditions I'm looking to doing that this year and um, taking you know remembering what I'm grateful for and being joyous in um, all things about um, Christmas so just wanted to check in I it has been kind of an ups and downs week um, did take today off slept in kind of threw myself together and I, I did a video just a moment ago, so I, I hopefully didn't already say this on this one, but I kind of threw myself together. As you can see, my hair's cut. My hairstyle is one of those hairs styles that when you wash it and you put gel in it, every day is a new day. But I got it cut on Wednesday night, and I think it still doesn't, it kind of goes in shock for a couple days and doesn't really know what to do. So this is it for today. Um, and I think in my last video, you, more in my platinum showed. So, it, like I said, every day is a new day with how it kind of fans out. But um, I like variety, so there you go. And then my makeup, some of my, I guess three to four must-haves, really, if I have time before I leave the house, are eyebrow pencil, um, eyeliner, mascara for sure, and lipstick. And um, a little blush you never heard either. But I'm a roughly right kind of person and pretty quick at throwing it together. And like when it comes to your eyebrows, you know, as you get older, they kind of disappear and you look in the mirror and you don't look like yourself and you can't figure it out. It's like, what happened? And then you look a little closer and you realize that those dark eyebrows that you had are no longer that distinct. So got an eyebrow pencil and that seems to make me look more like myself um, but roughly right means I, I kind of you know I don't take a whole lot of time so when I get in the car I'm looking I've taken off my glasses to put on my eyebrow pencil and it's you know like not in the right line or my lipstick is underneath my my lips or I have a little mascara on the side of my face which always happens and I don't know if it's because I'm putting on my glasses right after I put on my mascara and then that does it but it drives people I'm around with crazy. But um, anyway, about to head off. But just wanted to say happy holidays. Almost happy December. And do something fun for yourself this weekend. Um, and be happy. And also be praying for those up in Alaska. There was a um, horrible earthquake, a 7.0, that hit around the Anchorage area. So... If you know anybody up there, you may want to check on them, check on Facebook, see if they're okay. Um, some real damage happened up there. I saw um, a live video coming from the one of the ABC or CBS studios, um, and it was just almost demolished. And the guy who had obviously lived there for a long time said, he, you know, he got under like a stable desk and he was safe. But, I mean, there were areas of that office that were destroyed and they were showing roads that have just buckled and what worries me and this used to worry me when I had to go into work and my kids were in daycare is that some horrible war would break out or flood or some type of disaster and I'd be stuck at home and not be able to get to my kids and that's what first thing came to my mind is you know here you're in Alaska there could be parents that go to work in town and then live outside of town and maybe what if they can't get home I, it just really worries me so please um if you're a praying kind of person i would ask that you um send up some prayers for those that are going through um that um horrible incident and there could be more um they thought maybe tsunami um potential but i think that's been taken away but they said that within a couple of days, I think there's a one in four chance they could have like a 6.0. So things that are maybe standing right now could just crack. And I would just be on the edge of my seat all the time. And I did experience an earthquake. So I will talk about that maybe in the... <laughs> I've, I've had a tornado go over my house. I've been in California and felt an earthquake. Um, ran from a hurricane when we were attending a training in the Houston area so I've done a lot in my life so anyway kind of darting all around with the subject matter but um, just checking in and 
have a great weekend. Get in some stitching if that's your thing to do that helps with your happiness. And um, I need to journal too. I need to do some bullet journaling and probably t plan my time better so I can get in some stitching. So again, Diane Rivera, you can catch me on um, Instagram, Lucky Gardenia, Facebook, um, Diane Rivera. And a lot of my pictures, you'll see a lot about my life and my daughters and my pugs and what I'm up to. So if you want to know me a little bit better, I'm kind of an open book anyway, but um, come check it out and be sure to subscribe, hit the bell to be alerted. I would love that. And a thumbs up if you liked it. Um, sorry there wasn't more stitching content, but Hopefully somebody out there just likes a life update. So talk to you later. Bye.